Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Harmony and today is going to be my Vlogmas day four video. One of you guys left a comment on my video yesterday suggesting that I did the pregnancy tag again because I did it with my surrogacy pregnancy a few years ago and I thought that it was a great idea and so I wanted to sit down and do the pregnancy tag. So I found these questions on YouTube. So I'm just going to go through, it's about 17 questions and I'm just gonna go through them and answer them. So if you guys are interested in getting to know me a little bit more, getting to know my pregnancy. If you guys are new to my channel, I am 29 weeks pregnant and this is my third pregnancy. Every pregnancy is very different. I would say this one's been the most difficult in the beginning. So the first trimester, I was very sick the entire time and it was, honestly terrible but now that I'm in my third trimester it's a little bit better I still do throw up every now and then and I do have to take Zofran which is a medication to help with nausea and vomiting but it's gotten a lot better so I'm super super thankful for that so I'm just gonna go through the questions that I have written down the first one is how and when did you find out you were pregnant I found out in June that I was pregnant my period was about three days late and I just randomly decided to take a pregnancy test and I honestly did not expect it to be positive. If you guys are new to my channel, I had an ectopic pregnancy last November, so it was the scariest, most painful thing I've ever gone through in my life, physically, mentally, emotionally. It was so, so hard and I actually lost my left fallopian tube. So I was very, very scared. I was never gonna be able to get pregnant again. So I think that when I found out that I was pregnant again, I was in shock. And the next question is, how did you feel? I was in shock that I was actually pregnant again, because like I said, I only had one fallopian tube and that's all you need. So if you have had an ectopic pregnancy before and have had one of your tubes removed, just know that it is possible to get pregnant again and don't lose hope. The next question is how old were you? I was 28 years old, I'm 28 right now, and my birthday is in February. My due date is actually the day before my birthday, so we will see how old I am when I have this baby. I could be 28, I could be 29, so we'll see. How did you tell your partner? So I told my boyfriend Calvin that I was pregnant I really just told him like I just brought him in the room and he was like why are you filming and I just literally showed him the pregnancy test so it wasn't anything super cute I honestly regret not taking the pregnancy test with him I feel like it would have been a fun way for us to find out together but it's okay the last time that I was pregnant when I had the ectopic pregnancy before we knew it was ectopic I told him in like a really cute way and it was like the sweetest thing ever so I will forever cherish that moment but yeah this time I kind of just like showed him the pregnancy test did you wait three months to start telling people why and why not so I would say we waited until I was about like eight weeks we waited until we got our first heartbeat confirmation because I was terrified of the ectopic pregnancy thing happening again. We didn't post it on social media until I was about 12, 14 weeks, but we did tell our family and friends before that. And yeah, we just wanted to wait until we saw heartbeat before we started telling anybody. And yeah, as soon as we got the heartbeat, that's when we started telling our family and friends. Is this your first? It is my third pregnancy and it is my second baby. My son is 10 years old and then I had a surrogate baby in December of 2019. So I was a surrogate four years ago and it was such an amazing experience. If you guys have ever thought about doing surrogacy or have any questions about it, I am completely open to answering any questions. I do have some videos on my channel talking about it. My labor and delivery from my surrogacy is on my channel. So if you guys have any interest in surrogacy, check out my other videos. <laughs> Next question is, do you want more? I do want more. I definitely want my baby, this baby, to have a sibling that is closer in age to him than my son. My son is 10 years old, like I said, so there is a very big gap. And I do want him to like grow up with a sibling. I definitely want another one in the future near future hopefully not like too near i'm not trying to get pregnant like in the first year i'm trying to give my body a break and i cannot imagine being pregnant with a baby so i want to wait until he's a little bit older but i definitely want to have at least one or two more 
What is your biggest craving? My biggest craving, I, I don't feel like I have a specific craving. I feel like I more so think about things and I'm like, okay, I need to have it. But something that I am obsessed with is pomegranates. I was obsessed with pomegranates in my last pregnancy as well. And I'm just obsessed with pomegranates even when I'm not pregnant. But yeah, pomegranates have been definitely one of my biggest cravings. What's the best part about being pregnant? I think the best part about being pregnant is feeling empowered. I feel like being pregnant is the most feminine thing you can obviously do because only a woman can be pregnant. I don't know, I just, I feel so feminine when I'm pregnant and I just love feeling the baby kick. I love watching my body go through the changes. I really try to embrace the changes that my body is making instead of looking in the mirror and being like, oh my gosh, I'm gaining so much weight or oh my gosh, I look like this or whatever because it is such a beautiful thing and your body is going to change when you're pregnant. So I really just try to embrace all of the changes. What's the worst part about being pregnant? I think the worst part about being pregnant is the nausea and vomiting for sure. Oh my gosh, I used to be one of those people that hated throwing up and now I'm just so used to it because I literally throw up all the time, especially in the first trimester, it was terrible. So that's definitely the worst part about being pregnant for me. Will you find out the gender? What do you prefer? So we did find out the gender, we are having a boy. I don't know how people don't find out. I mean, kudos to the people who wait until birth. I just personally don't think I could. My parents did wait to find out what I was until birth. I think that that's super cool if you're able to do that because it's like the biggest surprise ever. But yeah, we did find out and we are having a boy. Do you have names picked out? We did have a name picked out before we found out that it was a boy for a girl. And then we found out it was a boy and now we're just kind of trying to figure out <laughs> what to name him. So we don't have a name picked out yet. And I told my boyfriend I need to meet him before I decide on a name. So we are waiting until he's born to officially name him. We're not going to like announce the name to anybody before he's born because we want to make sure that that's what his name is. We do have a few names that we really like and that we're leaning towards, but we haven't made a concrete decision yet. What is your birth plan? So I haven't actually written out my birth plan yet. I do plan on doing that in the next few months. <laughs> next few months, oh my God, I'm gonna have the baby in the next few months. I definitely plan on doing that in January after my baby shower. That's when I'll start like packing my hospital bag and getting all ready. My baby shower is in January. So after that, that's when I'll start doing it. But my birth plan is honestly to try to do it natural again because I did have a natural birth with my surrogate baby. I would love to not get an epidural again. I feel like the recovery was so much better compared to when I got the epidural with my son. I'm not opposed to getting the epidural though. So I'm not like, oh my gosh, I refuse. I just really would like to not get the epidural. So I'm gonna try to not get it again. And besides that, I guess my only like birth plan is I really want to do skin to skin as soon as he comes out. Hopefully I do not have to have a C-section and I really just want to listen to the doctor's recommendations. I'm not one of those people that have to have certain things a certain way. I'm really a chill, go with the flow type of person, but my biggest thing is I wanna be able to do skin to skin and also latch him immediately. So those are the two things that I really, really want to do. Will you breastfeed? I am so excited to breastfeed. Again, I breastfed my son Elijah until he was about two years old. So I definitely plan on breastfeeding again. And like I said, I really want to do the latching immediately after he's born. I feel like that's exactly what I did with Elijah. And that really helped us establish that you know, breastfeeding journey in the very beginning. So I definitely want to breastfeed. I do not want to supplement with formula at all. And I do not think that that is wrong to do. That is just my personal preference of what I want to do. I do not want to supplement with formula. So I am going to do my best to try to exclusively breastfeed. And then eventually I will do a bottle here and there just so that my boyfriend can help with feedings and also if we want to go on like a date night or something somebody else can watch the baby but i definitely want to 
exclusively breastfeed, especially for like the first month. Do you plan to work or be a stay at home mom? So I plan to do both. I do work from home, so I'm very, very blessed and fortunate to have a job that doesn't take up a bunch of my time. I work for a surrogacy agency, if you guys don't know, and it is a very chill job, and I just love what I do. I love helping other women become surrogates, so I will continue to do that, and then I also do social media, so I will be doing social media as well. I'm a hustler, so I will definitely still be working, but I will be staying at home with the baby. So I'm not gonna be like going to a job, but I am gonna be working from home. Do you plan on making your own baby food? Yes, I definitely will be making my own baby food. I feel like it's so much easier and I know exactly what it is that I'm giving my baby. Sorry guys, my light died and I needed to move location so the lighting was a little bit better. But I don't know if I'm planning on doing baby lead weaning yet, I haven't decided. If you guys have done baby lead weaning before, let me know your experience doing it. It kind of scares me, but I also know that there's been a lot of studies that show that it's beneficial, so let me know. But I definitely will be making my own baby food. And the last question is, do you have any nursery themed ideas? We are actually not gonna do a nursery. I told you guys in one of my last videos, we're not gonna be turning our third room into a nursery just yet. We are going to keep that room my office and then also make it like a playroom for the baby, but we are gonna be room sharing. So we're gonna put his crib and his bassinet in our room, and then as he gets older, we will transition him into the other room and then probably put my desk in our room or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but for the first year, we're definitely going to be room sharing. Let me just show you guys. Okay, so sorry, the room is a little bit messy. I need to go through that. But anyway, this is the baby's dresser. We have a bunch of clothes already to go in there for him. My boyfriend and I, well actually, he, my boyfriend, he's the one who set this up a few weeks ago. And then our bed is obviously right here. And then over here, we are going to put the baby's crib and the bassinet will go right here as well. So that is our plan for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was not super exciting. Like I said, I need to I need to really learn how to manage my time better so that way I can get videos filmed, edited and uploaded in a more efficient way. I feel like I'll sleep in until 11 and then my whole day is gone. So I really need to stop sleeping in, but I'm trying to take advantage of not having a newborn. So it's a struggle. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see from me. I will be uploading a video every day until Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me this month. And make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.